I am loving this shade. I look like a little belly dancer then. Hey guys, from the 9th of September, you can purchase the Altoria advent calendar and shop the new range from www.altoria.com. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notifications so you don't miss a video or competition. Oh, I do have an announcement. Next year, I am going to Big Beauty Day Out. So if you wanna grab tickets, link is down in the description. I shall be going to both Manchester and London and I shall be doing meet and greets. So if you wanna come say hi, grab your ticket down below. It's gonna be an amazing event. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I shall be doing the much awaited NYX Beauty Advent Calendar. So last year, this one was very popular. It went out of stock very quickly and I actually announced it to be one of the top three advent calendars to get last year. Before I jump into this video, don't forget that I'm still doing my massive Makeup Revolution Christmas tree giveaway. To enter, all you've got to do is subscribe, turn on the notifications and go and follow my Instagram. Link is down in the description and I shall be announcing the winner once I'm at 150,000 subscribers, which I am almost at. So this year's advent calendar is 24 days and it will set you back 50 pounds. Now they have kind of changed the front. Last year there was a massive lip and this year you've got some people on the front and it says sugar trip. Now they have kind of changed the contents inside. Last year it was all lip products but this year they have included eyeshadow. So I'm really excited to see what's inside. So again you open it like a book and they have drastically changed the middle. This is very very colorful and very different to last year. Okay, door number one. So first up, we've got a highlighter and on the front it says Sprinkle Town. So let's have a little look. I'm loving the casing. It's very, very nice. So it's very similar to what I like to call a unicorn highlighter. It's not quite white. It has that nice iridescent kind of color in it. This one's got a definite purple undertone. Oh, it shuts really nicely. There's like a little magnetic strip. <laughs> That's so satisfying. Day number two, we have the first lip product. So this is the Soft Matte Metallic Lip Cream and it's in the shade Nance. I really like lip products from NYX. I think they're really good. Now this color is definitely a, it's like a baby pink, but it's very metallic. It definitely doesn't look like the color that you can see right here. It's very pretty. It's almost like a Barbie pink, but a lot of shimmer in it. I definitely reckon you can wear this on its own or on top of another pink lipstick. Day number three, we've got another lip product and this definitely looks more my color. So here we've got a cream lipstick and this is in the shade Star Struck. It's a beautiful berry pink color. It's darker than the shade I have on now, but this looks so nice. I love it. The thing with matte lipsticks from NYX compared to Sleek. It is slightly more moisturizing than Sleek. Sometimes Sleek can get a little bit, it can get a bit gammy on your lips. It can get quite dry, but this one has more moisture. So if you are looking for something that's got a bit more moisture, I do recommend NYX over Sleek. Day number four, again, they've got it in order. They did this last year. I would have liked them to maybe vary up a little bit, but that's just me. So we've got Sprinkle Town and it's another highlighter and it's in the color Cinnamon Spice. Okay, this is very different to the last highlighter we got, but I wouldn't say the pigmentation was like strong. It does give like a very gentle golden finish. Uh, this definitely would look really nice if you've just fake tanned and you wanted a little bit more of a bronze highlight. This is something that I would definitely use. It is a nice product. I'm loving the packaging of each one. But yeah, that's nice. I prefer this color over to the previous one. Door number five. We've got another lip product. So in this store, we've got Intense Butter Gloss and this is in the color Sweet Nothing. Again, it's a very pink shade. I would say this is more on the purple side of berry, but let's have a little look. The color is very very different from what you see on the outside. So this is definitely more of like a lilac purple. Again, it's going onto the skin very nicely. I would say that this one was a lot more stickier than the other one. You can definitely tell it's more 
buttery. What I like about the NYX advent calendar is that you get different colors and probably colors that you wouldn't necessarily buy on a day-to-day -day basis. And that's what I like about this advent calendar. Door number six. So this is a matte lipstick and it's in the color Fluff Peace. That's an interesting name. Again, we've got another pink shade. There's a lot of pinks going on throughout the advent calendars, isn't there? This is a very nice pink. I'd like to say it was not really like a baby pink, but more of like a medium tone. This would look absolutely stunning paired with this one, which was the Nance lip gloss. That would look stunning together, actually. Oh yeah. Okay, definitely changes it. It makes it look more metallic. Door number seven. Here we've got another NYX lipstick and this is a soft matte lip cream and this is in the color shade Vienna. Now the way this one went on, it was a lot drier than the other ones. It almost felt like a powder, first of all, but it dries very, very quickly. What I like about this advent calendar is that the type of lip products are completely different from one another. We've had metallics, we've had creams, we've had mattes, we've had more of a, what well, feels like a powder to me, but yeah, I hope there's different colors though. Door number eight. So this is the Paradise Fluff palette and it's another highlighter. I want to see eyeshadow. Anyway, this is the Candy Cloud highlighter. Let's have a little look. Okay, this is definitely like a peach color. As soon as I saw it, it reminded me a little bit of my peach Jeffree Star one, which is like my favorite color ever. Again, the pigmentation is okay. It's not like the most pigmented highlighter I've ever tried. Um, it's not dusty, which is great. I hate dusty products. Door number nine. The packaging to this one is very nice. And this is the, this is everything. And this is a lip oil. This definitely wasn't in last year's. So this is in the color Cranberry Mint. Let's see if it smells like mint. Okay, it doesn't smell like mint, but it is just like a lip oil. This is actually quite good to have this in here. Throughout the wintry months, my lips go really dry and unmoisturized and they go all skanky. So having a lip oil, if you're wearing a lot of lipsticks over the wintry period, is a very good idea to pop in. But it doesn't smell like mint, so why call it cranberry mint? Door number 10. Okay, we've got another lip item. So here we've got a very pale color and this is the NYX Slip Tease and this is a full color lip oil and it's in the shade Poppin. So it isn't like a lip oil as such. Wow, this actually has a lot of color to it. So it does feel slightly more oilier to pop on as opposed to some of the others. So this tells me it's got a lot of moisture. So if you suffer from very dry, chappy lips, and then, then this is a color to go for. Door number 11, the color game is changing slightly. Behind this door, we've got a butter gloss, and this is in the shade Glazy Days. I love this color, like cinnamons, brages, are like my favorite colors to wear. Um, this looks gorgeous, I'm gonna try it. Wow, this is like definitely more of a gloss as opposed to like a matte lip color. Wow. Day number 12, halfway through. In this store, we've got something slightly different and this is Land of Lilies and it's a blush. This is like a really nice blush color. If I was to choose like a blush color, I'd actually go for a color similar to this. It doesn't have any shimmers in it. It's more of a matte and again like the powders aren't the most pigmented in the world um, it is affordable makeup so I can't be too critical or compare it to a high-end brand but I mean it does the job day number 13 whoa what's this it's an eyeshadow it's an eyeshadow yes finally so this is the sweet chateau and it's a eyeshadow and this is in the color cookie cutter oh it's a pale pink peach color look at that that's quite nice i reckon this would be something that i would wear as a base on my eyelids i like a light lid base because i've got hooded eyes and it brightens my eye up basically. Door number 14. We've got another eyeshadow. I probably would have preferred if they swapped around the highlighter with the eyeshadow. I think that would work better, but 
I'm happy to see eyeshadow. So this is the Sweet Chateau, and again, it's an eyeshadow, and it's in the color Candy Stash. It's a very candy pink color. Now this does have a shimmer to it. It's very similar to the highlighter. Wow, that's like almost identical. It does feel nice on the skin, but again, the powders aren't the most colorful. Door number 15. We've got another lip product, and I think it's an oil again. So this is the, this is everything, and this is in the shade Candy pop it's just your oil it comes out very clear it's pretty much identical to the cranberry mint one that we got it does come out clear it doesn't have any color to it mm, i'm not very keen on that product I, I think one's enough door number 16 this is a very different color so i think this was in last year and it's one that i actually quite enjoyed getting and it's a matte lipstick and this is in the color sorbet as you can see it's very different. It's like a lilac blue color. Let me just show you on my hand. <gasps> Look how intense that is. So if you're going to a party and you're going like frozen theme, then this is like the perfect color to go for. It is very different and I think you're either going to love it or hate it. For me, I wouldn't wear this as an everyday lipstick. I probably would wear it, like I said, for a fancy dress costume, but it's one to try. It probably looked really good on Instagram, actually. That's a good idea. Blue wig, blue lips. Door number 17. Behind this door, we've got another pinky lip product. So this is the NYX lingerie called Slip. It is a plum color. Whoa, wait. <laughs> Honestly, the color looks so different from what the product is. So I said it looks like a plum color, but this is... It is a plum color, but it's like a brownie, plummy color. It doesn't feel too matte on the skin. It's kind of like a medium. It's it's not really like a cream sheen, but it's more moisturizing than a matte, if that makes sense. Door number 18, is this orange? Okay, so this is the NYX Liquid Suede and it's a cream lipstick and it's in the shade Peanut Brittle. Oh, I am loving this shade. Now this is something that I wouldn't particularly pick up in a shop. It's like a cinnamon orange color, but it's screaming autumnal and a gold eye. Again, the consistency is just like the other one. It's not too matte. It's more of like a moisturizing lip color. Door number 19. Here we've got another eyeshadow and it's called Whipped Wonderland. So this is in the color Sweet Tooth. Oh, wow. <gasps> guys, it's rose gold and copper. And you guys know how much I love this color. So this is like a shimmery rose gold. It's very glittery, actually. Again, the powders are very similar to the highlighters. So I definitely think you can get away using even this as a highlighter. But, oh, this is my favorite eyeshadow color. Door number 20. So here we've got another eyeshadow, and again, it's called Whipped Wonderland. I hope it's sparkly again. So this is called Whipped Mocha. It's very similar to the color that I unboxed in yesterday's advent calendar, which was in the Elle magazine. It's like that nice brown chocolatey color. It is a matte finish. It's not that strong. You have to really build up the color to get it to its true visible color. It is nice though. Door number 21. So this is the soft matte cream and it's in the color Kiev. Oh my gosh, it's literally like a dark gray color. Now this is something that I would probably wear for Halloween and again, maybe Instagram. Maybe I should wear it for Instagram, but you know, it's different. It looks like I've just whacked on a load of mascara on the back of my hand, but drop me a comment down below. Is this, is this the kind of color you would wear like day to day? Let me know. Door number 22. Behind this door, we've got a brown color and it's the NYX Lingerie again. I think I'm saying that right. I'm so sorry if I'm saying that wrong, but it's in the shade deep rooted. I kind of want to say it's like I'm smearing poo on my hand. I reckon like people be like, love, you've got a bit of chocolate around your face. I'm just joking, but I don't know. I think this would look quite nice if you are dressed all autumnal, maybe with a nice hat, maybe with like a nice mustard jumper and you're gonna put a brown lip and like a golden eye again. That would probably look really nice, but I think on its own, 
it might look like you've got chocolate around your mouth. Door number 23. So in this door, we have an eyeshadow and it's called Licorice Lane. This is gonna be different, I hope. This is in the color Twisted. Oh, it's a gray color. It's a very like smoky shade. It does have a slight shimmer to it. And again, with the color, it does go on quite light, but you really do have to build it up. Day number 24, the final day. Here we've got an eyeshadow to finish off with. So this is in the color In Deep Trouble. It's a very dark aubergine purple color. That's very interesting. It's very Christmas Eve for me. I associate Christmas Eve with midnight colors. I have no idea why, I just do. Again, it goes on quite light with one swatch, but after two, three, I'd say for this one, it comes to its actual color in the palette. So there we go, that is the NYX advent calendar. Every single year I open this advent calendar, I really do enjoy it. I think not only is the products a surprise, but also the color. I'm very like excited to see what color I'm gonna get. I love the fact that they have added in highlighters, eyeshadows, and a blusher in there. I do love that they've done that this year. The packaging of each item is very pretty. I'm loving the casing of the palettes. The only thing Thing, the pigmentation of the powders with one swatch it goes on very lightly but after two or three it does go to the true color which you can see in the palette which for affordable makeup that's like expected I guess so is this advent calendar worth the money I absolutely think it is when you do 50 pounds divided by 24 each item in here is worth about two pounds which I actually think is roundabout right for this calendar who is this good for I actually think this is good for anyone I actually think maybe young teens and teenagers would really like this I think it's a nice calendar as an introduction to makeup however I love it and I know a lot of you guys do who are my age and above so I think that this advent calendar covers all age bases. I really do like it a lot. So what did you think of this advent calendar? Please drop me a comment down below. I would love to know what you think. But as always guys please make sure that you link, like and subscribe and I'll see you next time for another video.